What's up, everybody? Now, as you all probably already know, if you keep up with this channel, I live in Buenos Aires, and the Entre Rios province is to the north of Buenos Aires. Now, the reason I'm going to Entre Rios is because it borders the country of Uruguay, and I am visiting Buenos Aires on a tourist visa, and I have to leave every three months to get my passport stamped. So I can leave just for five minutes, for two days, for three days, four weeks, doesn't matter. Just have to get my passport stamped. So we're going to be entering Uruguay for one day and then going back over the border and then just visiting Entre Rios for a nice two day weekend. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. No pun intended. Argentine border but the customs line is so long to get into the country that it is 14 kilometers of traffic just jammed people are on the side of the road you getting a good stretch we've been here for four hours wow there's the customs right there and the line look at it La gente baila loca, los dos se tocan. 97 degrees in Uruguay right now. Very hot. And after a four hour wait in customs, we finally made it to Las Cañas? Las Cañas, I believe. It's so nice. There's the beach, everything. Refreshing. I needed that water. Now it's time to go have fun in La Playa. Vamos. What do you like about Las Quinas, Cañas, Uruguay? Uh, my favorite place, my favorite thing about this place is the peace that you can find only actually three hours from Buenos Aires. It was more today, but as he said, it was just because of costumes. But it's super chill. You have the river, you can do different sports like jet ski and I don't know, a lot of activities. I really like all the people on the scooters. Everyone's riding them everywhere. I'm not sure if you can rent them. I'm assuming so, just because everyone's on them. Here come some people. Right now. Everyone is on them. Um, it's very tranquilo. Everyone's just hanging out. And there's a lot of restaurants. And the food's not so expensive. But do remember, if you're coming here from Argentina, that it's about double. Right now, 2019, December 28th, going into 2020. So, the Uruguayo peso is double right now. 200 pesos, 250 pesos for ne Neapolitan, Neapolitina, Milanesa. Um, water runs about 120 pesos. So, normal Argentine prices, but Uruguayo pesos. Now, let's go catch that sunset. No, time for sunset.
good morning from Guadalajara. It is 8:30, and good morning from Guadalajara. It is 8:30, and already 100 degrees. This is a small town right across the river from Uruguay, in uh, Las Cañas town. We came from last night, and I got my passport stamped. So today we're going back to Buenos Aires and making one stop before we go. But first, we're going to enjoy the small town of Guadalajara and it's really tranquilo there's a lot to see here in the morning there's not a whole lot of people out how do you like this town i really like it there's no one but the bad thing is super hot like we are dying but we're still enjoying it bueno This is shit. After a one hour drive from Guadalajara, we finally made it to El Palacio San Jose and it's about three and a half hours from Buenos Aires, but highly recommend this place. Babe, are you okay? You've been in here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Urquiza had this palace built, he was very religious but also very political and it was important to be political in the Catholic Church at the time in the 1850s when this was built, 1857. It's also rumored that there's a relic from the crown of thorns that Christ wore and they have parts of the thorns here in the cathedral. Not to see, I don't know if it's true, just what the workers tell us. Outside courtyard, it comes to a crossroads. Whenever Urquiza had it built, he had four busts of world leaders that are recognized throughout history, and they were Julius Caesar, Alexander the Great, Napoleon, and Ferdinand Cortez. And Urquiza himself was a general in the Argentine military in the 1800s, so it was important for him to reflect on the actions and the power of those predecessors before him. And it's an awesome place just to look at this magnificent palace and see magnificent leaders and just reflect on everything. This is the kitchen that Urquiza had in his home. It's a very large kitchen and definitely outdoes many kitchens in today's modern standards. And I love the brick floors that it has and the cabinets they have, they're very old, rustic. And you can see the tile on the walls also. And it's not common to have 
pile that's kept up in such great shape in the 1800s, but it's very beautiful. And the oven here, the oven is so large. I don't even know if this is an oven, but it looks like an oven. What we have to know also is that in the 1800s, the shots of tequila were made because here we have the glass of shots. <laughs> But it was because he was in those words. So it's like a pretty amazing fact. Please don't forget that if you want to be an expert expert, click that like and subscribe button. Ciao. Ciao.